Getting famous on Scratch is pretty difficult nowadays. With the creation of high quality projects and the power struggle of Scratchers to take control of the Explore page, getting your games and animations recognized on Scratch in 2023 is virtually impossible. That's why in this video, I'll give you 5 hacks to get your project on the first of Scratch's Explore page. Step 1. Create a generic project. Now you might be thinking, to get famous, surely I have to make a good project, right? WRONG! Your project has to be either a generic clicker, a platformer, a Flappy Bird slash Fortnite ripoff. We don't want a unique project on the Explore page, and why would we? Of course, every once in a while, a unique project with days invested in it gets to the top, and that's where we come in. We must spam the report button to get it false reported and unshare it as fast as possible so we can take the rightful place on the throne of the Explore page. Step 2. Make your project in the most obscure language ever. 76.395196% of all scratchers in America speak English. That's why we, when you create our project, must put time and effort into translating into either Chinese or Japanese. Pig Latin is even better. Even if it's a dead language, put it in. The more dead the language, the more people that will feel sorry for you and they'll love and favor your projects. Don't you ever get annoyed by these 5 minute intros that have even more code than the actual game itself? Everyone does. They're loud and obnoxious. That's why we are at step 3. Your project must contain the most 2009 intro ever. Most intro makers on Scratch create high quality, customized intros for others. Completely free. When you ask Crackerman568 three months ago to make you one and he ignored you, you must take revenge. This intro that he made specifically for I'm Villainous, steal it. It's free, free real estate. estate. Slap your stolen Google image logo on it with the copyright watermark, of course, and there you go. Perfect. Now, you must find the most horrible, insufferable, stock Minecraft intro Roblox gameplay soundtrack and import it into your project. Now, you are complete. Well, not yet. Step 4. Create your art. A good quality project isn't complete without stolen, pilfered art. Do you have the skills to draw a background, a play button, a red square? No? That is where Google Images' blessed soul comes in. Never in the century has stealing copyrighted art been possible or more widely used. These artists took hours, days, maybe even weeks to draw their beautiful renditions of The Rock. And what do we do as game developers? Copy it! Save it! Bippity boppity, rippity hoppity, their art is now our property. Of course, we don't get sued or anything thanks to Scratch's literally backwards copyright law, so now it's time to bask in the glory of our beautiful projects. Step 5. Bask in the glory of our beautiful projects. Now, before your grandma kicks you off of her computer, we need to spam as many possible tags as possible in one project. The most widely used ones go in first, obviously, even if our project has nothing to do with it. Hashtag game, hashtag animation, hashtag hashtag, wait, what? Then we move on to the other tags. Hashtag every word in Encyclopedia Britannica, hashtag follow for follow, hashtag scratch life, hashtag subscribe to my Minecraft gaming channel, just to name a few. What did you say? My generic platformer isn't an animation? Or a tutorial? Or the new Fortnite Battle Pass? You didn't get any of the beatbooks I promised you? Delete the comments! Luckily, other scratchers won't see this as clickbait, it's just a generic project. Now we wait, as the loves and favorites come raining in. Whoa, followed by Griff Patch? Huh, that's pretty cool. I just got featured? Well obviously, I spent hours putting together the code, stealing the art, and making a clickbaity thumbnail. Wait, hold on. I forgot a bonus tip. This is your project, but no sane person would click on it. So that is why we must scam people into clicking on our amazing project. So this is the thumbnail, before and after. Perfect. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed how to get famous on Scratch. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button. And if you really enjoyed it, join the membership. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.